Hi guys, my crew here. This is my 1 to 99 cooking guide. There's loads of different methods in this guide. I give you options what you can take on each different point. There's fast methods and there's cheap methods and there's even a method for up to 700k XP an hour. First up, as always, we're going to talk about some useful items. We're going to talk about cooking urns. These cooking urns require crafting levels to use, but are very, very good. So if you have the crafting levels to do so, I would use these for sure. At level 12 crafting, you can use a fragile cooking urn, which can be used for food up to and including 25. They give 550 XP per urn teleport. At 36 crafting, you can use a normal cooking urn. This uses food up to and including 40 and gives 950 XP per urn teleport. At 51 crafting, you can use a strong cooking urn. This uses food up to and including 55 and gives 1050 XP per urn teleport. And finally, at 81 crafting, the best one, the decorated cooking urn, uses food up to and including 95. So pretty much everything we use in this video will be able to be used with decorated cooking urns. And these decorated cooking urns give 1547.5 XP per urn tele, which really, really adds up in the long run. When using urns, you gain so much extra XP, it's unreal. They do cost a fair bit, but they're definitely worth it. Next up is the portable range. The portable range is absolutely insane here. The XP bonus from a portable range is 21%. So whenever using a portable range, you gain 21% more cooking XP, which is just absolutely silly. You should always use a portable range whenever you cook. You get these portable ranges from Treasure Hunter or bought from GE, but that doesn't really matter because what we're going to do is we're going to use a French chat to find them. These portable urns not only give you 21% more cooking XP, they also have a 5% of doubling your food. So when you cook one piece, you have a 5% chance to cook two instead, but you only get XP for one. Using the French chat portables easily allows you to find a host location. So you just go into the portable French chat, ask for a portable range, it'll give you a world, give you a location, typically at Combat Academy in Lumbridge. Go to Combat Academy on that world and use the portable range for free. Easy as that. I just want to show you guys how to make a preset. So if you go here into your bank, you're going to want to wear what you want. So I'm going to do an urn preset. I take out two urns because when one's full, it will automatically be sent away. So if it gets full and sends away while I'm halfway cooking, I'll have a new one started automatically. So my preset will automatically load two urns for me, so I'm always getting urn XP. Then the rest of my inventory is sharks. In my worn inventory, I've got my cooking gauntlets and my chef outfit. This way we just click on this preset setup menu. We're going to want to set up a preset. So if I just save it over this summoning one and we call it cooking. We'll confirm it, we'll press yes. So now this one. I'm going to put on number one, so when I press number one on my keyboard, it gives me all of this in my backpack. So what you want to do is make sure you have all of your outfit on if you have it, or just have your cooking gauntlets if that's the main thing you want. Have your two cooking urns if you're using urns, and all of your food. Then save that preset and put it on number one or number two. Once you've done that, you've got to find a portable range. Probably the most important item of all is cooking gauntlets. I wouldn't really suggest going for 99 cooking without cooking gauntlets. It makes life so much easier, it's unreal. You need to do family crest quest, then you can obtain and wear these gloves. They're given to you by Caleb, who is near Gertrude's house in Varrock. If you already have a different type of gauntlets, such as goldsmithing gauntlets, take them to him, give him 25k, and he'll change them to cooking gauntlets for you. These cooking gauntlets give a reduction chance to burn food and gives a 100% cook rate much earlier than it would normally. So below I have the table of different burning levels. As you can see, lobster stops burning at 74, but if you have the gauntlets, it stops burning at 64, which means you can cook it much earlier. Swordfish stops burning at 86, but if you have the cooking gauntlets, it stops burning at 80, so you could do that much earlier as well. Monkfish is the same, stops burning at 87, even though it would stop burning at 90. Shark, cavefish, and rock towel all would never ever stop burning. But with cooking gauntlets, all of them stop burning at 94, which means we can cook rock towel to get to 99 really, really fast if we wanted to. Or we could do a cost effective method of sharks to get to 99 without them even being burned. It's absolutely insane the amount of money these gauntlets save. Definitely get them if you're going for 99 cooking. The sous chef outfit is obtained from Treasure Hunter and gives 1% additional experience in cooking for each piece that you have. 
If you have all five pieces, it gives an additional 6%. If using cooking gauntlets, you can use the cooking gauntlets instead and still get the 1% bonus if you have the gloves in your bank. This means you still get your bonus from the outfit even if you are using cooking gauntlets. If you have any pieces of the outfit, you might as well use them. It's additional cooking XP. Happy days. Another useful item is the Dwarven Army Axe. This Dwarven Army Axe is obtained from the Troll War Zone. The machinery of war part is where you actually get this Dwarven Army Axe. This Dwarven Army Axe gives an extra free experience per cook with anything except for cheese, which we don't cover anyway. The free XP bonus over time really does add up. If you're going for 99, you're going to be cooking a lot of food. That's quite a lot gained over the period of getting to 99, especially in the early levels. If you have this axe or if you just want to quickly go get it, it's definitely worth having. Into the leveling. Not much to say here. Levels 1 to 15, you want to cook crayfish. Each successful cook of crayfish gives you 30 XP. You'll need to cook 67 of these with a portable range for level 15. From levels 15 to 25, you want to cook trout. Trout gives 70 XP each, and you want to cook 65 of these with a portable range for level 25. Next up we have salmon. You want to cook salmon from levels 25 to 28 or 30. It's up to you. This is where the choices start and you get to choose your own way on where you want to level. So each successful salmon cook is 90 XP. You'll need to cook 28 of them on a portable range for 28. You want to cook 51 of them on a portable range for 30. Levels 28 to 60 you can do cooking sweet corn. Each successful sweet corn cook gives 125.84 XP on a portable range. You will have to cook 2090 of these with a portable range for level 60. Sweet corn are actually a small profit too. They're around 20 to 25 GP per cook and around 100k XP an hour. So they'll get to level 60 pretty fast. Turn that way to get to level 60 is from level 30 doing tuna. Each successful tuna cook gives 121 XP on a portable. You will have to cook 2,152 of these with a portable range for 60. Tuna is actually small profit as well as the sweet corn, which is around 15 to 20 GP a cook. It's slightly less XP an hour with sweet corn, but still really fast to get to level 60. From level 60 to 81, you're going to want to do lobsters. You will not burn lobsters from level 64 onwards, but you have a under 1% chance to burn a lobster at level 60. You have a very low chance to even burn. You may not even burn any from 60 to 64. So it's better to start lobsters at level 60 and then go straight to 81 with them because their XP an hour is insanely faster than tuna or sweet corn. Each successful lobster cook gives 145.2 XP on a portable range. You will need to cook 13,217 of these for level 81. There's a small loss, about 8 to 12 GP loss, but a very, very cheap way of getting your cooking up. They cost around 125k to get to level 81 this way. Remember that 5% double cook rock on a portable range really helps reduce the loss. Lobsters are 170 to 185k XP an hour. That's not even including urns, so urns would be even more. But 170 to 185k base XP an hour. At 81, if you want to do a really cheap way to get to level 90, you can continue doing your no burn lobsters with your gauntlets. Again, each successful cook will be 145.2 XP on a portable. You'll have to cook 21,719 lobsters with a portable range for level 90. Lobsters are a small loss, the 8 to 12 GP I said about earlier, and this whole thing will cost you around 200k. The 5% double cook procs will reduce that 200k and the lobsters are still 170 to 180k XP an hour base XP. If you don't mind spending a bit of money from levels 81 to 90, you can switch to swordfish. Swordfish is increased XP per hour, so it's 200 to 220k base XP an hour. Each successful swordfish cook is 169.4 XP on a portable. You'll have to cook 18,616 of these with a portable range for level 90. You lose around 280 to 300 GP a cook, costing around 5.5 mil. But then again, the 5% double cook prop really does help here in saving some money. Another alternate method at either 84 or 90 is monkfish. Monkfish with gauntlets at level 84 to level 90, you would only burn around 500 to 550 on average. So you don't even burn that many between these six levels. To completely not burn them at all, you need 90 plus cooking. Each successful monkfish cook gives 181.5 XP on a portable forge, so it's slightly faster than the previous swordfish. Monkfish are a loss of around 400 GP a cook, so they're more expensive than swordfish. 
The 5% double cook croc does help with the cost, obviously, again. Monkfish are quite an expensive method, but if you want to get to 90 as fast as possible, they are 215 to 235 base XP an hour, so they're the fastest way to get from level 84 to 90, if you have the money to spare. Next up is personally my favourite method, which is sharks at level 90 and 94. At level 90 to level 94, you would probably burn around 250 to 300 sharks on average because the burn rate is really, really low during this time. So you can start it at level 90 if you want to. You would have to cook 10,226 for level 94. If you do it this way, you'll get an insane XP an hour and you're not burning many, so I'd advise starting these at level 90 because it's really worth it. Especially from the procs on the portable range. It, it doesn't really cost that much, all in all. Sharks are a really cheap method. Sharks give 254.1 XP on a portable. You stop burning the sharks at 94 plus, and you'll need to make 20,031 sharks from level 94 to 99. They're a small loss to around 60 to 80 GP a cook, which is literally nothing. Compare that to the monkfish losing 400 each, and compare the XP rates, sharks are just insane. They're a very, very cost-effective method, and you get around 300 to 330k unbuffed base XP. Definitely my favourite method. I would advise you to start this at 90+. plus. Either go to 94 or 99, it's up to you. If you want to stop sharks at 94, you can move on to rock tails. Rock tails will never burn at 94 plus. Each successful rock tail cook gives 272.25 XP on a portable. You will have to cook 18,696 rock tails from levels 94 to 99. There are much bigger losses than sharks around 300 to 375 GP. If money is not an option for you, they are faster XP. The 5% cook procs help with reducing the loss a lot. You have a 5% chance to double cook and when rock tails are 2.8k each, that 5% is a 5% 2.8k saving. This makes you save up a lot of money over time, so the loss is actually about half of what it normally would be if you're getting the average rate of procs. So rock tails aren't quite as expensive as it looks, but they're still more expensive than sharks. Rock tails are the fastest method other than wines, which we'll go into in a second. Rock tails are around 325 to 355 base XP an hour, which is really good. You do them. Do these if you have a bit of money to spare and you want fast XP. Last up, I want to speak quickly about wines. You can do wines from level 35. Each successful wine ferment gives 200 XP. You will need to successfully ferment 65,061 wines for levels 35 to 99. Wines are the fastest XP an hour in the game for cooking, although they are super, super expensive. They're around 1.5 to 2k per wine in loss. You can make 3.5k wines in an hour, which will cost you around 5.25 to 7 mil per hour, which is really, really expensive. Wines ferment in 12 seconds, but you can do that in the bank. So if you just make 14 wines by adding grapes to a jug of water, then you can bank those and they'll ferment in the bank and still give you the same amount of XP. So you just make a preset for 14 jugs of water, 14 grapes, use them together, make unfermented wine, bank the unfermented wine and it will ferment for you. I personally would not do this method, but some people really love the fast XP and it's over 700k XP an hour. So it's absolutely insane XP an hour, but it's just so costly. It's about a mil per 100k XP right now, which means getting to 99 would cost you a good 125 mil at least. I would not advise this, but if you really, really want the fast XP, this is the fastest way. Thanks for watching guys, please like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new. I just want to quickly say that I've ordered a new microphone so the audio quality in my videos soon will increase and hopefully be much better for you guys. This microphone can be really annoying with the audio levels sometimes, so hopefully that will all be gone when I get my new microphone so I can provide the best content possible. I'm just trying to give you guys everything that I can and improve as much as possible. I have my friends chat open now and I've already chatted to some of you guys and it's really nice speaking to everyone and getting to know you guys so if you have a free minute or if you want to chat you can join the friends chat my crew and come chat and chill out with everyone and myself. Comment down below if there's any more guides you'd like to see in the future. It could be boss guides, skilling guides, whatever you want. Just give me the suggestions and I'll see what I can do. Hope you guys are doing well and I'll see you next time.